The United States is concerned about the BRICS 2024 Games event, which will be held in Russia and attended by 97 nations. But is there anything the US can do about it? This event is not just about sports. It offers 97 nations the chance to experience BRICS firsthand and potentially plan for future collaborations. Does this indicate that these 97 nations are willing to join BRICS? Let's find out. The BRICS 2024 Games, set to be held in Russia, are poised to be a landmark event in the realm of international relations and economic collaboration. With an unprecedented participation of 97 countries, this summit represents a significant expansion of the BRICS bloc's influence and its potential to reshape global power dynamics. Established as a coalition of major emerging economies, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, BRICS aims to promote economic cooperation, political stability, and strategic partnerships among its members. Russian President Vladimir Putin has emphasized the importance of this event, ordering its organization to the highest standards, reflecting Russia's commitment to strengthening BRICS. But what is this event all about? Why is a game event given any importance on the political stage? The BRICS 2024 games are set to be a major highlight of this year's summit, with 97 countries confirming their participation. These games will feature 20 different sports, showcasing the athletic talents and fostering camaraderie among the participating nations. The inclusion of such a diverse range of countries underscores the growing influence of BRICS and its appeal beyond its five core members. And what's the importance of Russia organizing this game? The organization of the BRICS 2024 Games has been a major priority for Russia, with President Vladimir Putin emphasizing the need to host the event at the highest possible level. This initiative is part of Russia's broader strategy to leverage its chairmanship in BRICS to boost its international standing and promote its vision of global cooperation. By hosting the Games, Russia aims to demonstrate its organizational capabilities and commitment to the values of BRICS. The BRICS 2024 Games are more than just a sporting event. They represent a platform for cultural exchange and mutual understanding among the participating countries. These games are an integral part of Russia's development agenda, aiming to strengthen ties between nations and promote a sense of unity and solidarity. The event will also provide an opportunity for countries to showcase their sporting talents and foster youth engagement in international diplomacy. Some experts say that this event will result in my deals, and such events are common for nations to plan their future. International sporting events such as the Olympics, FIFA World Cup, and Commonwealth Games are not just platforms for athletic excellence, but also play a crucial role in diplomacy and international relations. These events offer unique opportunities for nations to engage in dialogue, build relationships, and address global issues in a neutral and collaborative environment. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Africa's geopolitics, economy, and changing landscape. Let's continue now. The primary focus on sports provides a less contentious backdrop, allowing nations to engage in dialogue without the usual political pressures. Shared participation in sports can symbolize peace and cooperation, as seen when North and South Korean athletes marched together under a unified flag at the 2018 Winter Olympics. These events often attract heads of state and high-ranking officials, providing opportunities for formal and informal meetings. Leaders can hold bilateral talks on the sidelines of these events, facilitating direct communication on sensitive issues. For example, during the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, multiple leaders used the occasion to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin, fostering dialogue amidst broader geopolitical tensions. The spirit of competition and unity can inspire initiatives for peace. The concept of the Olympic truce revived in modern times encourages the cessation of conflicts and promotes peace-building efforts during the Games. The 1998 Good Friday Agreement, which helped bring peace to Northern Ireland, was partly facilitated by the positive atmosphere surrounding the 1998 FIFA World Cup. Hosting international events showcases a country's infrastructure, organizational capabilities, and economic potential, attracting foreign investment and tourism. Countries often use these events to negotiate trade deals and economic partnerships. 
The 2012 London Olympics, for example, led to numerous trade agreements and investment opportunities for the UK. So, many experts are saying that maybe this event will lead to many nations collaborating and expanding BRICS. The BRICS bloc is on the verge of significant expansion, with over 40 countries expressing interest in joining in 2024. This growing interest reflects the bloc's increasing appeal as an alternative to traditional Western alliances and financial systems. Seven countries have already submitted formal applications to join BRICS, indicating a strong desire among emerging economies to align themselves with the bloc's goals and values. The potential expansion of BRICS could have far-reaching implications for global governance. By incorporating more countries, BRICS would enhance its economic clout and political influence, further challenging the dominance of Western institutions. The inclusion of new members could also diversify the bloc's economic and political perspectives, leading to more robust and inclusive decision-making processes. The process for admitting new members to BRICS is based on consensus among existing members. This approach ensures that any decision to expand the bloc is made collectively, reflecting the collaborative spirit of BRICS. The summit will provide a platform for member countries to discuss the merits of each application and reach a consensus on the way forward. One of the primary economic goals of BRICS is to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar in international transactions. This objective aligns with the bloc's broader aim of promoting economic sovereignty and reducing vulnerability to currency fluctuations. By encouraging the use of local currencies for cross-border transactions, BRICS hopes to foster closer economic ties among member countries and enhance their collective resilience. The promotion of local currencies for international trade is a key initiative for BRICS. This approach not only reduces dependency on the U.S. dollar, but also lowers transaction costs and mitigates exchange rate risks. By creating a more balanced and multipolar global economy, BRICS aims to empower its member countries and provide a viable alternative to the existing financial system. The participation of 97 countries in the BRICS 2024 Games is an example of the growing appeal and influence of the BRICS bloc. This large-scale involvement is unprecedented in the history of BRICS, highlighting the event's importance and the bloc's ability to attract a diverse range of nations. The BRICS 2024 Games are expected to engage a significant number of young people, both as participants and spectators. This engagement is crucial for promoting the values of international diplomacy and cooperation among the next generation. By participating in the Games, young athletes gain exposure to different cultures and perspectives, helping to shape a more inclusive and interconnected world. Does the presence of 97 nations show they are willing to join BRICS or at least know more about it? The presence of 97 nations at the BRICS 2024 Games in Russia does indeed indicate a significant interest in the BRICS bloc. While this participation does not necessarily mean that all these nations are actively seeking membership, it does suggest a strong desire to engage with and learn more about BRICS. The large turnout signifies that these countries recognize the growing influence of BRICS on the global stage. By attending the Games, they have the opportunity to observe the bloc's dynamics, understand its objectives, and evaluate the potential benefits of closer association. Nations are likely interested in exploring the economic opportunities that BRICS offers. Participation in the Games allows them to network with member countries, discuss potential collaborations, and assess how they might benefit from BRICS initiatives, such as reduced reliance on the U.S. dollar, trade facilitation, and sustainable development projects. Some countries view BRICS as a viable alternative to Western-dominated economic and political structures. By engaging with BRICS, these nations can explore options for diversifying their international partnerships and reducing their dependence on Western institutions. The BRICS 2024 Games serve as a platform for soft diplomacy, where countries can build relationships, exchange cultural values, and promote mutual understanding. This diplomatic engagement can pave the way for deeper political and economic ties in the future. While not all attending nations may be ready to apply for membership, their presence indicates a willingness to test the waters. They can gauge the benefits and challenges of BRICS membership, witness the bloc's cohesion and decision-making processes, and determine if their national interests align with those of BRICS.
And if the majority of these nations do end up joining BRICS, what would happen? If the majority of the 97 nations attending the BRICS 2024 games end up joining the BRICS bloc, it would indeed be a significant international game-changer, with profound implications for global geopolitics, economics, and international relations. The expansion of BRICS to include a majority of the 97 nations would accelerate the shift towards a multipolar world order, where power and influence are distributed more evenly across various regions rather than being dominated by Western countries, particularly the United States and Europe. A larger BRICS bloc would serve as a formidable counterbalance to Western-dominated institutions like the IMNF, World Bank, and NATO, potentially leading to a reconfiguration of international power structures. The economic weight of an expanded BRICS would be immense, potentially encompassing a significant portion of the global population and GDP. This collective economic power could influence global trade policies, financial markets, and economic regulations. For these reasons, the West is looking forward to this event. Do you believe it will be a turning point for the world? What would happen if more and more nations joined in? Let us know in the comments section, should the US be scared? Even if it is, what can it do about it? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.